Hello and welcome to the group room where we're at the 34th annual CTRC AACR San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, where I have the pleasure of sitting with Dr. Eric Weiner. Dr. Weiner is Chief of Women's Cancers at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Hello. Hello, Dr. Good afternoon. Weiner. So, Dr. Weiner, we're going to talk about a couple of things with you. The moderating panel on medical economics, the cost of care. Thank you for spending time sure. talking to us about these two areas that you were involved with. There were two lectures that were given. They were both very good lectures and largely focused on um, how to analyze costs in the setting of me medical care um, and how in the context of clinical trials and in the context of the evaluation of new therapies or new diagnostic procedures, we should, be, we should be thinking about cost issues. I think what is most important here, though, is that the United States has now caught up with the rest of the world, and the rest of the world has worried about cost for quite some time. Um, I think we now recognize here as well that there isn't a blank check being written for health care as it perhaps once felt that there, there was. Um, we have to make some decisions as a society about what is going to be worthwhile for people and what isn't. Um, and I think we have to be careful about those choices. I don't think it makes sense um, for us to be embracing drugs or devices or tests that are extraordinarily costly that don't have clear benefit for the patient. And I think this all comes back to what's right for the patient. Um, in general, if we have treatments that are of significant benefit, I think we're going to figure out a way somehow to get them paid for. But it's all of the treatments and all of the extra testing that is really very marginal, where we have to be careful, and we have to make sure we don't waste money on what I would think of as, as pretty mediocre treatments and approaches so that we have the, the funds available to cover what's really going to be far more valuable therapies in the future. Well, it seems like there's going to be some very hard decisions to, to be made. Yeah, no, I think that they're, 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 they're very tough choices. Now, a doctor taking care of an individual patient should probably not be worrying about these issues other than to the extent that out-of-pocket expenses may affect a patient's ability to receive a treatment or remain adherent to a medication. But society has to address these issues. And as doctors and as other healthcare providers and as patients, if we don't address these issues, then they're going to be addressed for us by insurers, and we don't want that. So I think that as a community, we have to come together and we have to determine what makes sense um, for, in this case, women with breast cancer and what doesn't make sense, because otherwise we're going to find that the uh, third-party payers will be telling us what we're doing. Right, and this is a discussion that has to include not only the, the clinicians and the researchers and uh, the, the, the re reimbursement area, but the advocates themselves and the patients that probably have the loudest voices here. Uh, absolutely. But, you know, my, my sense of this, and I, I feel the same way when it comes to involving advocates in research, is that the patients and the advocates who represent many of them um, tend to be extraordinarily thoughtful and reasonable. And um, people are able to use some common sense and they'll look at a treatment that may have a very small benefit and may be very costly and say, gee, I don't know if that makes sense when um, there are other pressing issues. Thank you for acknowledging the, the wisdom of the advocates. Well, you know, if you live, if you live with an illness, you get to know that illness. Thank you, Dr. Eric Weiner, Chief of Women's Cancers, Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Thanks for having me. Thanks again.